actually a repost mm. that he put up from the platform even. Mm. I want to share this with you really quick. So the original post was a tweet, right, from even.biz, which is a platform that has some direct-to-consumer tools mm -hmm. for those who want to use that to sell their music with rewards straight to their audience. Anyway, somebody put up a question during a very viral time on Twitter, and it said, what is music industry math? And their retweet of it said, a fan needs to stream an artist's music 20 times a day for a whole year for that artist to make $25 from the fan. Where? From the fan. People is happy for this. Lot everybody that's been on there saying that's not bad. Is it $25? That's an album sale. You want to sell one record a year? A year, bruh. Mathin is not mathman right for you artists who understand straight to consumer websites. My artist Boss Baker made fifteen hundred dollars in an hour off of his website and we'll continue to make money at least out of the 30 days out of the month we need to make it at least seven days out of a month we're getting a download how, how many y'all doing that them numbers with money on streaming you're not doing it right one download you know what i mean for an album that's that whole year price right there my album is 25 dollars you know what I mean? My 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 um bad beat album is twenty five dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean one one album download a year matches that streaming twenty times a day. They gotta do that. And you mean you did that and you made fifteen hundred dollars in one hour? Like, come on, man! Yes, you yes, gotta man. make sense, y'all. For you artists who thinking y'all doing something. Oh, I got a fifty k listeners. How much money did you make off that fifty k? Big facts. So. You ain't making nothing because of the threshold. <laughs> Come on, man. Hell, Metro Boomin saw that, who obviously doesn't have an issue getting people to stream his music, and he replied with a message. I'm going to crack this open so you can see the whole thing. That message was, this is why my next album will probably be the last one streaming. Nobody's going to have to tell the truth, and I'm going to tell it. Huh? He said he's not doing the streaming no more. And a lot of other big mainstream people are doing the same thing. And my he, man said probably, he said he did put probably. Yeah, he did put probably in there. Probably, you know. but because he might want to do more research. And that research would come in, come to the play to where he can right. make more money, you know what I'm saying, off the fan base that he has who love right. him dearly. Right. And he can make more money per hour, per minute, then per stream per year. No math ain't gonna be mathing up in here. Understand me? It's okay when they do it. If you recall, almost seven months ago, I started making video content mm -hmm. about why I was gonna make the bold decision and follow in the footsteps of Prince, like he did in 2015 when he removed his entire catalog from all of the music streaming platforms. Why did I do it? A myriad of reasons. And, and Prince and Prince did it from his website back then. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can Google this. He Prince was, was making over $15 million a month off his download on his website when he did that. He was doing and then when he passed away and his estate went to to to, to the people that he got his estate. Now they're making close to $250 million a month off his music since he passed away. Off downloads. Mm, interesting. Sure. The main one was that I just couldn't see myself saying I am a luxury brand like Gucci, who has a store mm. that is you got to line up, you got to wait your turn outside the locked door because mm -hmm. it's so expensive in here. I can't imagine having that kind of business, but then also having a business that says, oh, if you want to get the same scarf that's $4,000 in here, um, go to the Goodwill down the street. It's the same material and all that it is. Mm -hmm. It's like 0. 0.003 cents. It just doesn't make sense from a business standpoint for me or for any other product I can think of. Mm -hmm. So regardless of how you think of it, I made that decision and I left and I got I caught so many arrows yes you did people were angry mm -hmm. and it wasn't people who you would think benefit from streaming right it was mm. the, it was the damn it was the people making the least amount of money it was the artists Ooh. who were angry with me the article says 
Metro Boomin has raised the prospect that his future albums may not be released on a streaming service. Metro is not the first artist to question continuing releasing music on streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music. Kanye West, get this nigga out the way. Yeah. That shit should read Curtis King. Mm -hmm. mm. Facts. Facts, because he was the first one. He was the first to, facts, though. Yeah, and to bring it to the forefront. And guess who watched his video? Kanye. Because mm. Kanye had shared one of his <laughs> tweets and shared it, and that's how he got his the audience that he had because of that tweet. I, I hope he could bring that up. I wish he could bring that up, because he sure did it. Yeah. Kanye sure did that. You know what I'm saying? That's why he said it should have said Curtis King. Yeah, okay. I agree. Ain't nobody finna rewrite history. I'm gonna, anybody gonna bang for me? I'm gonna bang for myself. That there shit should not read Kanye West. I don't care if the reader gets to that point and says, uh, "Who the hell is Curtis King?" That should read Curtis King, but that's that's neither here nor there. Didn't I tell you they would rewrite history? Hmm? Huh? Huh? I told you it was gonna rewrite history. But shout out to the OG. Shout out to the legend Kanye West. Stated that he wants to release Vultures too directly to fans. Hmm. 